This happened three months ago when I was walking to work. I saw a car stop by me and the window opened, and there was a guy with a cracked face and a very creepy smile in a limo car. And then he said to me, Oh, looks like you want to go to work. Well, hop into my car so you can arrive faster. And then I said, No thank you, and he left. At the office, when it was time to go home, I chose the elevator so I could get down to the main floor faster. When the elevator opened, I saw the guy I had seen earlier with the cracked face and creepy smile. He was in the elevator with the other employees, and then he said, Come on in, there's still room for you. And then I said, No thank you, and instead chose the stairs. When I got downstairs, I heard a scream. So I quickly went down the rest of the stairs, and then I saw the elevator full of blood and dead bodies. I was scared, and quickly called 911 and told them what happened, and then I realized that the guy with the cracked face was gone. After that incident happened, I never ever worked at that place again. What would have happened if I'd gone in the elevator or hopped in his car? At least I'm still alive. My name is Darshana, and I live in Oman. I am 13 now, but this happened to me when I was 10. Our exams got over, and we all were planning what to do during holidays. I suggested we go on a trip, but our parents were so busy we could not go. So our friend Karan suggested we play video games in the morning and afternoon, go for a walk in the evening, and play a football match, and then at night, we would all go to his house for a sleepover, and at 12 o'clock that night, we would sneak out my brother Arjun, who was just six. He got scared and told us he was not coming, but we made fun of him and forced him to come. On the other hand, my friend Sahana was very excited. I lived on the third floor, and three of my friends also lived on the third floor, and the other two lived on the fourth floor, There was one lady on the fifth floor who hated us because we'd had a fight with her kid. So when we snuck out, all seven of us, we saw the lady outside who hated us. Her name was Mary. She smiled and laughed and talked to us, and we were shocked she was not angry with us. Then we told her goodbye and left. We did a few rounds in the park, playing, and got back home at 3 a.m. and slept. The next day, our friend Karan woke everyone, and we all went down to see what had happened. To our surprise, Mary was dead there. Her son said she had died around 9 p.m., and they found her this morning. She had died from falling off the balcony. The seven of us were in shock. Then who talked to us last night at midnight? After this incident, one year later on the same day, September 30th, we all got a text message from an unknown number. It said, I will come back. After this, we didn't sneak out of house at all anymore. 